Hey, Paul Inventor 3 here. I'm back. I finally got that up there. And the pole. And well, it's probably hard to see the antenna wires through the tree branches here. Oh, there they are. Let's zoom out here. So there are seven wires. Much higher now. They were just connected to that box, uh, the collector box. I do not have that connected right now. The wire just ends at the top of the wooden pole. <clears throat> and then, of course, we got the pole over here on this end. And nothing's touching the tree branches. Our wire comes down into our lab. So let's go in the lab and check this out. Okay, let's uh, turn our meter on here. Uh, first of all, as always, we just have our one simple circuit hanging here. Our antenna wire and our ground goes outside to our grounding rods. And uh, this is just the output and my probes for my meter. Uh, not hooked up to anything yet. Okay, loose. This is loose. This is nothing. Ignore that. We're going to be using our regular string of lights back here. Now let's see what our voltage is right now without any load. I see my reflection. All right, what's going on? There we go. Okay. Just over 10 volts. I think it'll fluctuate. It's actually going down a little bit now. Eh fluctuating okay so we're about ten and a half volts or ten and a quarter let's say okay let's connect this up here there we go looks nice and bright we'll see if we could add more lights on there or get it to do some more work um, let's see what we got over here now. Okay, it drops now with the load on there. Now I could still add voltage multipliers and all this stuff yet. But we're kind of starting from scratch again here. So, say uh, almost two and a half volts. Uh, let me add our current meter in there and see what we get. Hang on one second. Okay, I uh, got the current meter in there. I uh, got 10 volts without the load. It's, uh, I think we only had up to about 8 volts before. Let's see, this is our current now. Uh, 148 microampers. So now I'm going to connect, go on my roof and connect up that collector box. Let me mark these numbers down. Uh, let's see, we got 2.63 now. Yeah, let me mark these numbers down. And then uh, let me go up there and connect that collector box and see what difference there is. Okay, I just connected the connector box there, or collector box. I had a seven foot extra piece of wire connecting the, the end of the antenna from the top of my pole down to the box. <clears throat> if that box was a lot lighter, I'd put it on top of the pole. Uh, which makes me think I could still 
put that on top of the pole. And I got another one there. I'd like to do some experiments with that. But anyhow, here's our results now. 2.6 volts, 152 microamps. So, collector box is helping a little bit, but not much. I'd like to get a better collector up there yet. Yeah, the lights look really nice. Uh, yeah, let me see what we could do with this. But, uh, good. We got better results. Oh, excuse me. I did, uh, clean up my lab a little bit. I could actually walk around my Tesla coil and walk around my lab now. A lot cleaner. Well, except for that back corner. I didn't get that far. It's really mess over there on that table and the TVs. But yeah. So alright guys. Let's see what else we could do with this today. You can see we're starting to get some uh, dark clouds overhead. I felt a few raindrops. Uh, you can see right away our current starts going up. So, just wanted to show you that. I'll be back. starting to rain now and you can see getting even more current a couple times it went up 198 99 this setting right here is 200 so I'm gonna have to go to the next thing here but uh, close to 200 microamps that's the most I've ever gotten so far so that's good. All right. Uh, just for the heck of it, I got this lamp here. It's actually got a camping light. It's actually got 32 LEDs, eight on each side going around there. Uh, I have it hooked up to the circuit right now. Well, it works. <laughs> All 32 of them. <laughs> I have to see how bright that is in a dark room. It took uh, three D size batteries. So. Pretty cool. Thirty two LEDs. All right, I'm just having fun. <laughs> Let's see what else I could do. I almost forgot to show you. Okay, with that connected, you get about the same thing here. Close to two and a half volts, uh, 200 microamps or 0.2 milliamps. Getting pretty windy outside. Okay. 28 LEDs now. Looks pretty good. These are those uh, jumbo LEDs. Say cheese. <laughs> I just had to do that. 
Smile. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap things up. It's getting a little late. I've been in here about six hours already, getting the antenna up and performing experiments. Uh, well, things are better, so we're going to keep going with this, and uh, I could still experiment with the uh, frequencies, too, which I'll probably be doing next. Get things resonating. Um... Starting to get some snowflakes falling outside. So I got that antenna up just in time. Now we could uh, keep experimenting all winter here in our lab at least. Alright guys, see you again real soon. Woohoo! Free energy!